Reneus sizzled happily in the yard. He was fresh from overhaul, with his boiler still in black. Your boiler is probably better now than when you were built, said Mr. Hugh. They've done a fine job. Reneus smiled. I feel fine, Mr. Hugh. I'm looking forward to pulling trains again. You'll have to wait until your boiler's been repainted, though, Scarlowy laughed. You look patchwork. Well, at least I don't wheeze like you do. I imagine Driver will enjoy being able to see the line ahead again, Reneus teased. Scarlowy was glad his friend was home, but he had a train to pull, so he puffed away to find the coaches. Scarlowy's boiler was worn out. He leaked steam as he hissed and clanked up the back. We'll do it! We'll do it! He puffed. He'll do it! He'll do it! chorused the coaches. He might have done it too, had it not been for the sheep. Scarlowy hadn't the puff to whoosh the sheep away. By the time the driver and fireman had cleared the line, he hadn't the strength to start the train again. Renaise had to come and push him to the next station. Then he took the train on, while Scarlowy limped sadly home. You have tried hard, Scarlowy, the thin controller said thoughtfully. Now Reness is back, you can take a rest. Don't worry, comforted Reness. You've done more than your fair share. The thin controller pointed, you can take the trains tomorrow. Tomorrow, sir? But w won't I look silly with this black boiler? It'll be repainted when we've time, but we mustn't disappoint our passengers. Renéas found pulling the train. He made lots of steam, and even though he felt a little silly, his new boiler made everything much easier. The thing controller says I can pull the trains until you get better, said Reneus. But I am better, Scarlowy protested. It's my turn now. No, said Reneus firmly. It's my turn. It wouldn't be fair to make you grab the line in your state. Scarlowy eyed Reneus' spoiler. Hmm, well what about your e-paint? Well, my e-paint can wait. I'm only doing what's best for our passengers. And, he added earnestly, it means Mr. Hugh can get you done in properly again. Scarlowy couldn't argue with that, so he went to sleep instead. Renéas ran the line for days. The days became weeks. The weeks became a month. But one morning, Renéas wouldn't steam properly. Perhaps I could take the train, Scarlowy offered. It must be my turn now. But Reneus wouldn't hear of it. No fear, I'll manage. I don't want you to hurt yourself. When Reneus finally did make enough steam to leave the shed, he struggled to make up for lost time. Peep peep! Hurry up, please, we're ever so late. Hurry up, please, we're ever so late. Coaches bumped and bounced behind. My poor first class passengers, Akira snorted. Are they our passengers? I shall come off the line, I know I shall, whimpered Lucy. They arrived at the top station a little late. Nobody minded but Reneus. He bustled forward to run around the coaches. Beep beep! Hurry up please so we're in good time getting home. Then it happened. Reneus says that the fireman should have changed the points more quickly. The fireman says that Reneus came back so swiftly that he didn't have time to get to the lever. Anyway, his cab went one way, his smoke box the other. Whoosh! Whoosh! That hurt! 
The telephone rang at the bottom right. station. We'll tell Mr. Hugh right away. Show a wheel, Scarlowey, said Mr. Hugh. Reness needs your help. No, he doesn't, said Scarlowey. What with his new boiler? What about it, Mr. Hugh laughed. He sweated himself in on some points and needs rescuing. Now, come on! They arrived to find Renair sitting alone, the coaches telling him how silly he had been. Mr. Hugh and the men jacked Renair up, then lowered him down onto firm rails. I'm sorry for being so bossy, said Renair. My new boiler didn't do me much good in the end, did it? Scarlowey had to run the line while Renair was being mended. My turn now, my turn now, he chanted to himself. He didn't like to say, but he was still quite short of breath and was thankful for a rest at the station. He returned home one evening more exhausted than ever. Renéas was surrounded by paint pots. What's this then? Are they finally painting your boiler? Scarlowey asked. Mr. Hugh says that besides that I'm ready for work. Good, Scarlowey said. I'm out of puff and I shouldn't like to upset the passengers. You can take the trains tomorrow. He paused impressively. It's your turn now. Mm -hmm.